Hello, Oscillator Sync here, and today I'm really excited to share with you a brand new feature that I've just added to Synthmata, my free online browser-based patch editor for the Volker FM and DX7. Now, before we get started, a massive thank you to everyone out there who's been using Synthmata, those of you who have provided feedback and bug reports, and especially those of you who have been creating your patches using Synthmata and sharing them about. If you are creating patches, by the way, um, make sure that you're a member of the Facebook group called Volker FM Patch Sharing Group. I'll put a link in the description of this video there are a lot of great patches being shared about that have been created using Synthmata. So on with this new feature, um, pretty much from the start when I first released Synthmata, the biggest request for a new feature has been a random patch generator. Now I'm a really big fan of random patch generators, I think they are great, especially on analog style synths. Now the problem with random patch generation on FM, if you just randomly assign values to all of the parameters on an FM synth, about 90% of the time, probably more than 90% of the time, you're going to get stuff which is glitchy, um, atonal, um, unusable sounds. So I, although I really wanted to add randomness into Synthmata, I had to think really carefully about the way that I was going to implement it. So with that in mind, let me introduce to you, if we just scroll down here, let me introduce to you the randomizer. So um, the randomizer is uh, random automatic patch generation for the Volker FM and the DX7, but it's guided randomness. So we have a number of parameters here which you as the user can kind of use to guide the type of random patch that you are after. And this is great for getting to a uh, sort of great starting point for a patch that you're going to go on to uh, develop a bit further. Um, so we've got these uh, values here which govern the, the timbre of the sound. So I don't really want to explain too much what uh, they actually do. Um, atonality introduces atonality, complexity introduces complexity, brightness introduces brightness. Uh, we've got um, uh, the envelope controls here, so hardness is mostly to do with how fast uh, the sound moves in all. Um, hit is about introducing sort of more percussiveness to the sound. Twang uh, sort of introduces twang and um, uh, it's kind of hard to define, we'll, we'll hear it in a second. Longness is kind of as it sounds, you turn this up to make sounds uh, typically last longer. And then we've got our movement parameters here. Wobble, that's to do with pitch. Wobble, that's to do with uh, your sort of your uh, filtery, not filtery sounds, but your sort of timbral changes within your sounds. And velocity is going to change it so that your patches are going to react more to uh, velocity. So what I just want to do in this video after uh, introducing this to you is just hit play on the Volker FM, just got a little sequence running and we'll just try out a couple of the controls and talk about what they are doing. Okay, so we're here with a uh, initialized patch to begin with. Uh, this is just the default setting here, so I'm just gonna hit new patch and we get a brand new patch for our Volker FM, just like that, we hit it again. We get another one. Okay, so that's what we keep doing. We keep hitting this new patch button to get a new sound. So um, I'm going to come over to the envelope here. Let's try and get something that has a bit more attack. So I'm going to turn up my hardness. Now the patch is sort of coming on a bit faster. Um, if we hit it again, get again another patch with that uh, onset being a bit more rapid. Uh, at the moment, I think the patch is a bit too long, so we could turn down our longness. We could hit new patch. Short patches like that. Okay, so um, let's talk about the timbre a little bit. So um, complexity uh, introduces a, a complexity to the sound. It does it in a couple of different ways. Um, if you're interested, you can take a look at the source code, but let's try just turning it up halfway and see what sort of sounds we get instead. Okay, if we turn up the brightness, we might hear a bit more of it happening. So you can hear that we're getting lots of really useful patches just sort of out, out the gate, really. Perhaps we'll bring it even brighter. <laughs> That's cool. Um, so this sort of uh, raspy kind of quality you don't tend to get so much with the complexity turned down. But with it turned up, sort of all bets are off and you get all sorts of stuff happening. It's really short. That's really cool. Uh, so atonality um, basically introduces more and more detuning and a different sort of relationships between the operators. Um, 
Let's turn that up a little bit and see what we get. You can hear that things aren't quite as stable. Okay, that's kind of percussive. If you wanted to get more percussion into it, we can turn the hit up a bit. It might increase the longness for a bit. Turn the twang down. Getting some more sort of percussive sounds. Twang will tends to temper the percussiveness a little bit and get more sort of movement. Hear that? That's not quite as percussive. Let's turn the complexity down a bit and maybe temper that brightness, maybe make it longer. So let's try and make a bit more of a pad sound. So let's turn down the hardness, turn down the hit a bit. Okay, turn down that atonality a bit. Turn up the twang, turn down the brightness. That's cool. Uh, okay, so over here we've got the movement here. So uh, if we wanted to introduce a bit of pitch movement, we can turn the wobble up a bit. Nice warm pad there, a bit spooky. thing happening that's cool um, if we turn up the wobble then we're gonna get a bit more sort of timbral change over the over time there we go something like that let's maybe bring a bit more of an attack back but keep that length perhaps Complexity, a bit more brightness. Sometimes, even though you've got the longness, sometimes just because uh, cause there's randomness involved, <laughs> some of these things are kind of ignored sometimes. So, although longness is turned up, it's still quite a short sound. Let's turn that complexity all the way up, see what we get. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, uh, brightness a bit. Wow, okay. So uh, let's talk about velocity. So if we turn this up, basically what it's going to do is make our patch more reactive to the velocity slider on the Volker FM. Okay, uh, so let's play with it. So this is the velocity turned all the way down. And turn it up. Let's try another one. Okay, that's the velocity up full. As we bring it down, a bit darker, a bit quieter. Oh wow, as we turn that one up, it gets angry. Let's turn that atonality up to see what we can get happening. Okay, that's frosty full there, and bring it down. Darker, less weird. Try again. Velocity down, bring it up. Let's turn twang down, perhaps. Turn hit down. It's velocity down, velocity up. And of course, if you push everything to the max, you know, or, or to the extremes, I should say, you know, you do get some pretty out there sounds. sound effects and stuff. But if we keep the things a bit more conservative, we can certainly create some very usable sounds. <laughs> That's cool. It's, it's great fun to play with. In fact, it probably took me twice as long as it should have done to develop because I just spent so much time just hitting the new patch button to see what it would bring out. Now, in some cases, you know, you're going to get lucky and you're going to get a patch which is basically a finished patch. You might want to go and tweak things like your um, 
of rate scaling uh, type operations here or maybe just bring in some of the weirder stuff just to make it a bit more usable. Um, but really what I see this uh, as is, is a great way to get a starting point. You know, you set your sort of ballpark sound that you're looking for, hitting your patch a few times and find that great starting point that's going to lead to a really cool patch uh, that you can carry on and build rather than working from an initialized patch every time. Anyway, I, I hope you like that. Um, I've had so much fun uh, playing with it already, and I, I really hope that you're going to have fun playing with it as well and that you create some awesome patches off the back of it. So that's about it for today. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Also, uh, make sure you're following me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. I'm just oscillator sync one word uh, in most of those places. You could be able to find me uh, that way. Other than that, um, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you again soon, guys. Take care. Bye bye.